so the Manila North fans are expectant ahead of the opening possession of this final pool game of the opening day of play here in Abu Dhabi. So it's Manila North who have the first possession, wearing white tops and blue shorts against the all blue side of Doha. Between his legs and then driving to the basket but can't get the shot to fall is Sammy Monroe. Dominic James puts it inside to Tangi Ngombo who goes to work immediately down in the low post, initiating lots of contact with bumping and banging with his shoulder. Can't get the shot to fall. Abueva drives, follow up, is stuck home and listen to that round of applause. Carl De Hesa opens the scoring. Nobody going to guard. Ngombo, he tries the two-pointer, can't get it to fall. So Abueva, guarded by Dominic James, goes to the turnaround. It's a spectacular effort. Sammy Monroe picks up the errant shot. Inside to Ngombo, he goes to work once again, lowers the shoulder for the second offense in succession. And this time, he is called for an offensive foul after no whistle on the first. So the basket will not count. First foul called on Doha. Tangi and Gombo initiating too much contact. So just over a minute gone in this Paul D encounter. Manila North looking for their first victory. Shot fired by Abueva. He's asking for a foul, but it's an air ball that is the result. So Monroe, guarded by Abueva. Ngombo sets the screen, then rolls to the perimeter. Monroe keeps the handle. Goes to the step back, air ball. He's asking for a foul. So neither side finding the range with any great effectiveness here in this final pool game of the evening. And a long range two pointer is in and out. Troy Rosario couldn't find a range from downtown. So long range two attempted by Musa. Long range two is drained by Manila North. Abueva makes it Manila North three. Doha yet to score. More contact initiated by Ngombo once again. He'll go to the free throw line having been impeded on his shot attempt. But here was the long range two pointer by Abueva. Had a busy evening. As the man nicknamed the Beast. First pool play, then he went into the dunk contest. As Ngombo can't make the free throw, Doha still yet to open their account. Stolen away by the alert Dominic James into two point territory. Nobody really guarding him, so he helps himself to that characteristic high elevation jump shot. Doesn't fall. So just over two minutes gone, and Doha have yet to score. Manila North, three, Doha. Still scoreless. Inside, traveling violation called on Yasin Musa. Too many steps before he executed that dribble. Turnover's the result, and Doha remains scoreless. So inside. Manuel muscles his way towards the hoop and gets the shot to fall. Manila North leading by four. Slow start by Doha, completely out of sync in this their second pool game. Abueva turns back baseline, offloads to the muscle man and listen to the round of applause that basket receives. Vic Manuel going up strong and finishing with one hand close to the hoop. Makes it Manila North five, Doha zero. Count the basket. Count the basket. 
terrific drive and finish by Dominic James. He'll go to the free throw line. And will try to complete the two point play. Dominic James unable to complete the two point play. The rebound finally hauled in by Manuel. Posting up on the interior, and no way that pass is going to find him. It was Troy Rosario. As well as their silver medal finish at Asia Basket. Oh, that was a nasty dunk attempt. As the whistle had already gone, it was on the ground. But Dominic James most certainly wasn't. I was about to say Troy Rosario is, what is that? Asian Games silver, they won C Games gold, the Southeast Asian Games. The Philippines basketball team came away with its strong drive and finish by Dominic, by Sammy Monroe. Abueva, air ball on that two point attempt. Dominic James, Monroe from two point territory, kept alive by Musa, up strong. Spectacular offensive play by Dominic James. Shortest player on the court, but elevated terrifically to stick that shot home. But Manila North come right back and put their lead back out to three. Musa looks at another two, lets it fly. Front rim on the left, kept alive by Monroe into the hands of James. James for two, front rim. Monroe reels in the board, nobody comes to guard him. Abueva didn't get in the neighborhood. And the rebound secured by Manuel. Go to the spin move, you heard the slap from way up in the bleachers here. And we have a timeout on the floor, six minutes remaining in the game. Manila North three, Do excuse me, Manila North six, Doha three. Cries of Manila, Manila. And they have a whole swathe of supporters here. <laughs> Miscommunication. Between Ngombo and James, you saw Ngombo gesturing that he was expecting the shot. That's why he got himself such terrific rebounding position. James had other ideas and was looking to find his teammate close to the bucket. Broken up. Low scoring game this one. Four minutes gone as Monroe gets to the hoop. And then comes over the back of Troy Rosario. So Doha called for the third team foul. Manila North with a two point advantage. Not only do they need to win, that's the first objective of course, to get themselves their first victory. That pull up jump shot doesn't fall. Now where's that whistle? I think it's been called on Musa for jersey pulling away from the basketball. The Philippine fans in the crowd like it. Musa can't hide his consternation. So it will be Abueva to inbound. Takes the long range two, front rim, hustles down his own rebound with fantastic energy and then gets the layup off the glass to fall. Rapturous applause in the crowd once again. Filipino jerseys and flags being waved as Musa can't handle. Doha going through a bad stretch here, looking for the contact with Abueva. Bouncing off the floor to get that stick back. Count the hoop. Troy Rosario with a terrific alertness on the interior. And will go to the free throw line to try and add one more. Wonderful reflexes. Bounced off the floor like a cat on hot bricks. And got the stick back to fall. And that's what it means to those fans. Rosario now on the free throw line for one. 
Roy Rosario completes the two-point play to give Manila North a five-point advantage. Manila North nine, Doha four, with just over five minutes left to play. Another athletic, acrobatic drive to the hoop by Dominic James. Fouled in the act of shooting, he'll go to the free throw line for one. These sides met at the quarterfinal stage of the World Tour Masters last year as Dominic James drained the free throw to make it a four point deficit faced. And an offensive foul called on Abueva. So that's their fifth team foul. Both teams have five fouls apiece. Doha looking to continue to chip away here. If they get the win to make it one win across the three-way pull D. Dominic James, oh, that is beautiful. Pull-up jump shot from two-point territory from Dominic James. Brings Doha back to within two. Nobody's guarding him again, so he helps himself once more. Short on that shot attempt, Abueva with the board. Abueva goes to the drive. Foul on the ground. But if Manila North do manage to secure the win, and there's a long way in this game to go yet, of course, not only do they need to win, they need to score at least 18 to prevail in that three-way tie that would take that would occur in Pool D if Manila North come out on top here. So it's a two-fold victory that they need. Victory is the first order of business. Throwdown secured on the interior. It's a one-handed jam. And this crowd has exploded here in Abu Dhabi. So Abueva, oh, with the two-pointer to give Manila a five-point lead. Manila North 12, Doha 7. Doha trying to silence this crowd with a quick two-pointer, but it wasn't to be. Here was the throwdown on the inside. The feed from Abueva, the grateful recipient, was Manuel. And the one-handed throwdown was the result. So Manila putting themselves in a strong position here, Manila North. Musa for two and drains it. Yassin Musa. Keeps Doha within touching distance as Manuel goes to work in the block. Lots of bumping and banging. And Gombo can't believe that call. Timeout on the floor, three minutes 48 remaining. Manila North leading Doha by three. Manila North 12, Doha 9. Well, these cr this crowd, they really have played their part in this effort being produced by Manila North. They've encouraged them, they've inspired them, and how the team have responded. They're leading right now, but there's still a long time to go. Doha looking to overturn it and get their noses in front to add to the victory that they secured over Kranja in their opening pool game. Just less than four minutes on the clock. Rosario back high in on that two-point attempt, but the shot attempt comes back to him. The muscle man, Manuel, well short on that two-point attempt and perhaps beyond his range. So three and a half minutes to play as Rosario takes a seat on the bench. Abueva checks back in and cries of defense, defense all around this arena here at the Corniche. Inside it goes to Musa. He's guarded by Abueva. Abueva takes a step back before standing firm and poking the ball free with quick hands. Inside to Manuel, who gets the finish. Rapturous applause greets that 
power move on the inside once again. So, just warned for interfering with the release of the basketball. Not allowed to touch the ball once it's gone through the hoop. Lots of pushing and barging and wrestling taking place at the high post between Manuel and Ngombo. He powers his way inside, gets the layup to fall. Wonderful power move. Stolen away, lack of concentration from Manila North, dancing his way into the lane with the dribble moves. Dominic James, broken up by Manuel, into the hands of Manuel. Less than three minutes to play. A braver, up strong, no call either way. Now, ultimately, the blocking foul, very late indeed, has been called on Yassine Musa. He can't believe it, nor can his teammates, and it will be interesting to see where he was stood and whether his feet were in position, because that is now the bonus, the penalty for Doha. So it is two free throws and the clock stopped. There's the drive by Abueva. Couldn't get to see the feet, but that call was very late indeed from the official. Academic now, it's in the book, and it means Abueva goes to the free throw line for two shots. Can't make the first. Free throw shooting, of course, a crucial aspect of 3x3 basketball, and Abueva can't make either of them. How costly could that prove to be? James doesn't get the long range two to four. Abueva guarded by Ngombo. He fires for two. Air ball. Who touched that last? Rosario was in there. I think he touched it with the final contact on the ball. And so it is Doha possession with two minutes, 14 seconds remaining. Cries of defense, defense once again. Ngombo, guarded by Rosario. He muscles his way down into the lane. Puts up the right-handed shot, doesn't get it to four. Rosario with the board. Quick two-pointer fired by De Heysa. And the foul is called. Now this is another trip to the free throw line. And two shots for Manila North. They were 0 for 2 on their previous trip to the line. That was also three throws taken by Abueva. But it's a case of what might have been, but they could have been shooting for point 16 and 17 had they made those previous shots. And he gets the most friendly of shooters' roles on his first free throw attempt. Manila North lead by four. Can't get the second, but he gets possession. Nobody comes to guard him, so he fires for two. Long on the shot. Rosario with the big board on the inside. Too strong on the stick back. Monroe fires for two himself. Short on the shot. Takes a hard shot to the face. Did Rosario. And he punishes them, does Sammy Monroe. It's a one possession game. And Manila North lead. Their lead is cut to two. Manila North 14, Doha 12, two minutes, seven seconds remaining. Lots of basketball left in this three-on-three -three encounter. And there is the ball dancing tantalizingly on the rim. The facial expression of Abueva seemed to suggest that he knew it was good all the way. High-fiving his teammates before it fell through the hoop. So Manila North have possession. Two minutes, seven seconds remain. They lead Doha by two. Abueva goes to the post-up move. He clears out Dominic James and gets the stick back to four. Manila North 15, Doha 12, less than two minutes to play. Dominic James working on Abueva, pushes off. There's been so much physical play in this one. A drive to the lane. Precious indeed, because the players are defending it fiercely. So to the free throw line for two shots as Manila North are now in a penalty is Dominic James. Smallest player on the, Manila, on the Doha side.
Terrific stick back by Ngombo. And Manila North back to within one. Excuse me, their lead is cut to one, but now it's out to two once again. Troy Rosario makes it a two-point advantage for Manila North. As Doha put it back inside to Ngombo. Out it goes to James for two. Too strong off the, off the hoop. Manuel. Rosario fighting for position, guarding territory fiercely as Monroe down in the low post. James pokes it away from De Heysa out on the perimeter. So six seconds remain on the shot clock. Manila, Manila North need to be aware of that. One minute, 21 seconds remain in the game. Manuel trying to post up Ngombo. That's where they put it in the high post. Manuel balls his way down, goes to the spin. He's too strong with the underhanded scoop shot. Monroe for two, front rim, Manuel with the board. Some tired looking athletes out there on the court at the moment. But remember, victory and a place in the quarterfinals is what these guys are playing for. De Heysa for two, front rim, terrific board on the offensive glass by Rosario. Can't get the shot to fall. Monroe goes to the dribble, we're inside the final minute. Do they go for the tie? Here's James for two, off left. Big rebound hold in by Manuel. Now he goes to work on a much smaller James, clears him out, and we have an offensive foul. So it will be a trip, excuse me, offensive foul is called on the muscle man, Vic Manuel. He recognized the mismatch. Boom, there it is. Sending the smaller Dominique James careening across the court. And so it will be Doha looking to tie things up with 40 seconds remaining. They trail by two. Ngombo going to work in the low block, trying to get to the hoop, but he's lost possession. He's looking for a foul. No call from the referee, no call from either of them. Ngombo can't believe it. Remonstrating with the officials, the crowd are delighted. Abueva coughed it up immediately. Upstairs it goes. De Heysa came in from nowhere to steal the alley -oop attempt. Nervy moments, neither team executing well in the closing stages of this game. This is money time. And there have been a flurry of turnovers. 27 seconds remain. Manila North lead by two. Dominic James has coughed it up. Now, whose possession is it? Look at the gesticulation from the ref. He's saying that Dominic James has turned the ball over. And so it will be Manila North possession with 24 seconds remaining. Manila North in a strong position here. Doha have to make sure that their heads stay in the game because they're not happy at the moment and they're exhibiting signs of frustration. Manuel driving on Musa. Dominic James comes down. So the ball goes out of bounds and it's another turnover. High energy but not much execution to be admired in the closing stages, not on the offensive side of the ball at least, during this closing stretch. Both teams demonstrating incredible commitment on the defensive side of the ball. But crucial now that they execute. Doha still trailing, it's a tough two-pointer attempted, back iron, rebound hauled in by Abueva. De Heysa with a quick two, doesn't get it to four. Abueva with the board. Out of bounds, 2.5 seconds remain. Doha need to get a two-pointer to tie. Will they elect to take a two-pointer from beyond the arc? They've got a serious shooter in the form of Dominic James. Only 2.5 seconds on the clock. Ball's on the floor, the two-pointer is launched. It's off right. Manila North has secured their first victory of pool play. Hence the jubilant scenes here at the Corniche. So Paul D has remained tied, one point apiece. The final score of this game, 
Manila North 16, Doha 14. So across the board, we, we have one win apiece for the three teams in Pool D. Doha, Kranja and Manila North have all earned one point apiece. This is the final score in this final pool game of day one. Manila North 16, Doha 14. It doesn't matter where you from, where you from. This is the game we love, this is what I love.